Hey guys, it's me, Lil Ninja, back with another video, and today I am finally back from my break of YouTube making videos, and really, I haven't really been making videos that often, but I've been trying to figure out what can I do for my next video, because I've kind of been losing, uh, not followers, not, not li like likes or anything, not views, just I've been losing touch with the stories that I create, so I'm gonna... <clears throat> uh start trying to make the stories more detailed so that way uh i don't lose touch with the stories i guess Ugh. uh we don't have any shout outs today because no one comments on my videos that much anymore but if you comment on my video for uh this video or any of my other videos that come out this week you will be able to be in one of my shout outs for next week so if you comment this week i'll shout you out next week without further ado let's get into the video we start off with a four-year-old naruto uzumaki just living his life inside the village being basically himself wondering if he has enough money to go to ichiraku ramens today and all that would have stopped when jiraiya the toad sage would have picked him up and would have basically tp'd out of the uh out of the leaf village with this, Naruto would be squirming around inside Jiraiya's arm, trying to get out while Jiraiya would have put him down and would have told him to be quiet, as this is a training trip for him. Naruto would be ha have been confused as to what in the world is exactly going on, and of course Jiraiya would have to explain this to Naruto very uh, quickly, as they only have a few years to train, and Jiraiya wants him to basically be the best uh, best shinobi that he can be. So, is Jirai would explain that he is going, Naruto is going to be having a little bit of a training session that has been set up by the Hokage. And there is a fake, uh, blood Naruto, a blood Naruto clone that is basically living Naruto's life and living it where it's off, I mean left off, after Naruto had gotten transported to Mount Miyaboku, the land of the Toads. With that, Naruto uh, would start to get what is going on as Jiraiya would explain that he's going to be telling him two secrets that is basically uh, cla classified as S-rank secrets. Naruto, I mean, Naruto would sit down and listen and Jiraiya would explain that Naruto is the son of Minato Namikaze and Kushina Uzumaki. And then, uh, before Naruto could ask any more questions, Jiraiya would uh, cover his mouth and explain that he's also the Jichuriki of the Nine-Tailed Beast, as Minato could ha uh, did, was not able to basically kill the Nine-Tails, but he had to seal it into a newborn baby, and that baby was Naruto. Explaining this, Naruto would wanting to make his parents proud and wanting to know the real reason why the Kyuubi attacked the village, uh, he would accept Jiraiya's training and would have been trained until he was 10, as this time skip would basically explain that Naruto is very much a prodigy but has to keep a uh, idiotic mask on to the point to where no one actually be <clears throat> believed that it is possible for him to graduate at any age. Of course, to, uh, the blood clone still goes to canon, but uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, as Naruto would come back as a 13 year old Naruto as actually adding three more years to his training uh jiraiya would have uh got wait yeah three more years i, I was counting like some wait did i mess that up <laughs> i guess i did not uh naruto would have been trained till he was 13 which would have been about the time that he was uh had to graduate of course naruto being naruto 
uh, would still want to get some Ichiraku ramen and change the clothes from that he had. Of course he knows from the blood clone proofing, uh, he knows that uh, he needs to go to the, the Shinobi school tomorrow as he had graduated overnight and no one would believe that he had graduated. So he is going to be happy when he sees the faces of all the people that think he uh, basically failed the test. But of course, Naruto would have uh, basically learned the test and would have uh, I mean, finished the test and would have learned the multi shadow clone jutsu as a plus as his blood clone learning something would have meant once the blood clone uh, once the p blood clone poofed he would have learned it Jiraiya would then tell Naruto that he would be leaving the village again but he would come back in time for the Chunin exams to train him on a little bit of uh, some more things. As Naruto's skills would he would have learned a lot of things but there would be one uh, two there would be three jutsus of his father's that would need to be learned. As this version of Naruto, I will give a rundown of his abilities. This Naruto knows multiple elemental jutsu with the three new elemental affinities, but also uh, plus his uh, air elemental affinity. He has fire, water, and earth on top of his uh, regular canon air elemental ability. With this, Naruto would have basically learned the elemental jutsu pretty easily, and he's also a, seal, a certified seal master. Not to mention, he would have also learned how to use kenjutsu, and would have his own katana that would be strapped on his back as so uh, soon as they arrived. As Naruto would have to pick up his headband from, uh, from the Hokage. Why did I forget that? Uh, as Naruto would have to learn, uh, get his headband from the Hokage, uh, basically him, Naruto rushing there first, getting his headband, and then going to Ichiraku Ramen to have some good ramen. As Naruto would have basically uh, used all his money to buy all the ramen that he needed, as this is still Naruto, it's just a more powerful version of Naruto, and a more serious when he needs to be Naruto. As Naruto still being Naruto means that he still has that big appetite and still has that childish personality like a Naruto should. Naruto basically only being serious when it comes to missions or when he actually needs to be serious. Now Naruto uh, being, oh uh, wait, I already explained all this, why am I trying to explain it again? Naruto would go back to his house and rest as he had a long training trip and a long time of training. Naruto basically uh, sitting down uh, and on his bed and then sleeping until the next day. <clears throat> Naruto would then arrive to the ninja academy and would walk in as all the students would look at Naruto stating that, I mean, well, all of them would be thinking, how did he, did he pass? No, no, he definitely failed, right? He, he's supposed to fail. He's the dead last. Naruto looking at them like absolutely loving their reactions as they all think that he's the dead last. But he's not going to explain that to them until the tuning exams that he's not the dead last. Only his team will know as he promised Jirai that he will explain everything to his team except for a little bit of secrets uh, until uh, his team is possibly ready or he's ready to tell his team. Mm. Naruto uh, basically would sit down in his spot and Aruka would smile, knowing that Naruto does not have the hideous uh, orange jumpsuit that he had before. Naruto would actually be sporting a Hokage, uh, the fourth Hokage looking lookalike, with a black uh, cloak that has flames at the end. Uh, that basically made him look like the fourth Hokage. It's just he doesn't have the fourth Hokage cloak or the fourth, fourth Hokage uh, hat. But of course, Naruto would be a fourth Hokage lookalike, and that would basically uh, show to everyone. He's basically a spitting image of the fourth Hokage, it's just that he has whiskers and he's a little bit smaller than they last see in the fourth Hokage. Of course, he also has a sword on his back, like I said before, a uh, katana, 
and uh, I don't really know how to describe the katana because I haven't really discuss, decided what katana that he's going to get but I do know what katana I'm going to I mean what sword I'm going to make him get uh, uh, next <laughs> I have a lot of plans for this what if and uh, let's just get back to this what if Naruto sitting down would basically be bored out of his mind until he hears his name being called for one of the teams as it would be leaded by uh, Team 7, Naruto Uzumaki, Sakura Haruno, and Sasuke Uchiha. Naruto just being uh, <laughs> like not kinda mad, kinda not mad as he knows from the years Naruto had tried, I mean Naruto's clone had tried to befriend Sasuke but of course Sasuke shot that down and uh, basically Naruto would have still uh, would have Naruto's clone would have started to like uh, Sakura, but then would have started to not like Sakura as she always tried to hit Naruto, which for the clone would always work. And um, Naruto would just be sitting there, like just being bored and thinking about how bad his team is and if they will even work together with him. Naruto would just be sitting there, and Sakura would just not like that as Sakura would stand up with all the other fangirls and state, why are you trying to be cool like Sasuke? Stop it now, stupid Baka Naruto. Naruto looking at Sakura and then just looking back out the window, like he doesn't really care right now. He doesn't have time, time for this, even if she's on his team. As Sakura would get even mad, more mad, and would start to try and punch Naruto, Naruto dodging the punches and then catching one, and then twisting her arms, uh, stating that he's not going to tolerate her, her hitting him anymore. Like, he tolerated that years ago, but now he's not going to tolerate that, like, at all. Naruto letting her arm go states that goes for all of the fangirls that follow the uh, brooding emo Uchiha. And Sasuke would look up at him with a, uh, basically, uh, angry Sasuke face. Like, seriously, I don't know how to describe Sasuke in the lead, least, as most, uh, Sasuke what-ifs basically make him <coughs> emo. Like, mainly emo. Well, it makes him look emo. He's not really emo, but that's basically what people call Sasuke. <sighs> Naruto sitting back down in his seat and would glare and put some killing intent into his glare, putting all the uh, fangirls back in their seats. He uh, basically uh, looking back out the window. No, uh, everyone's uh, team would basically get called after that, and basically uh, all the senseis would came uh, came to get pick up the teams, except for you guessed it, Team Seven. Kakashi is late again, as he was in the original, because there's no way Kakashi will ever not be late. Naruto getting mad about this would get up, still being his prankster stuff self, and would start forming hand signs, and would slap the uh, door nodding at his work stating that this is going to get that Kakashi sensei for being late especially this late Sakura looking up knowing not to say anything even though she thinks Naruto is kind of annoying and thinking that he's better than Sasuke is basically like a no-go Naruto basically knowing that uh uh, what he, what is about to happen is gonna be great. Sakura would ask what did he do to the uh, door and Naruto would say wait and see and then be amazed at my crafty work. Naruto sitting back down as Kakashi would walk in as fire, earth, water, and air would spew out of the door and start barraging uh, Kakashi. Basically putting him in a solid earth trap. Naruto would actually be laughing his butt off, uh, stating that you got hit by the ultimate seal master. Like, he's just laughing. Of course, like I said, this is still our Naruto. He just, when it's time to get serious, he will get serious. But this is one of those times where he knows he don't have to get serious. Naruto basically still laughing and Sakura would start saying sorry but in, in her Sakura would be like some yeah that's what you get for being late 
Naruto, uh, Sasuke would have a small smirk on his face, thinking that if Naruto could learn this in that small time, then Naruto's possibly might be stronger than he let on, but obviously not stronger than me. Of course, this would be extremely wrong, and uh, I'm not gonna explain why yet. But of course, Kakashi would say his first impression of them is they are annoying and troublesome. Naruto basically uh, sweating bullets like he did not just say that. He did not just say that to the best seal master out there. Naruto basically sitting back down and was uh, take uh, would slap a seal onto uh, Kakashi, letting him out of his mud prison. Of course, Kakashi, wiping the excess mud off of himself, would tell them all to go up to the roof. Of course, Sakura and uh, Kakashi would disappear, Sakura and Sasuke would be running, and Naruto would step out the window, stick himself to the side of the uh, school, and would b proceed to walk up the school, surprising Kakashi as the reports of Naruto state that he is the dead last, but he comes not inside of his uh, orange jumpsuit and he actually looks like a ninja. Not to mention that he portrayed something that uh, Mir Geni shouldn't know how to do, which is walking up walls. So Kakashi, not really uh, knowing much, Naruto uh, basically would sit down and basically be ready for anything. As Kakashi, I mean, as Sakura and Sasuke would basically burst through the door and looking at Naruto and Kakashi, look, and Sasuke mainly looking at Naruto, thinking, "How did he get up here first? I didn't see him walking out with me and Sakura. How, how did he?" It's like, it's like being awestruck. Naruto basically smirking at Sasuke, but then realize he has to stay calm and collected as this is just uh, basically it's time for introductions. Naruto would go back to his basically focused self and would look at Kakashi. Sakura getting angry and stating stop trying to be cool like Sasuke and uh, proceed would forget about what just happened and, and would try and punch Naruto and Naruto would basically gut punch Sakura. Naruto stating that he warned her not to do that again. Sakura remembering what he said would basically be holding her gut and basically be on the floor. Naruto would sit back down and would, uh, would state he was he's sorry. It's just him. His reaction was more than uh, subtle. Sasuke and Sakura would sit down while Sakura would still be holding her gut. After a while, Kakashi would tell them to introduce themselves, and Sakura would tell uh, would tell Kakashi to introduce himself first, as she doesn't get it. Yeah, I don't. I didn't understand that the first time I watched the anime, and I don't understand. I still don't understand it now. How how Sakura did not know how to introduce herself. Kakashi would explain that they should introduce their full name, uh, their full name, their uh, hobbies, their dislikes and likes, and basically all that. Nart and he would point at Naruto, stating for him to go first, as he would like to know how strong Naruto is. Naruto would be looking down, thinking how much should I tell them. Naruto would say before we go through with these introductions. I need to tell each and every one of you the truth about why I'm basically as strong as I am now. Uh, before, it was uh, basically when I was four, as I was taken off by my uh, 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 godfather, as he trained me for all these years until I was 13 and ready to take the Genin exams. Of course, uh, as you all remember, I my I failed, but really that was my clone failed. As Naruto would be explaining all the things that he went through, but leaving the part where Minato Namikaze and Kushina Uzumaki is his uh is there is his parents out. Of course, everybody else would explain who themselves are, and uh, basically. 
Kakashi would tell them to basically meet at training ground something something tomorrow and that is where I will be leaving it off today I hope you like the video and without further ado little ninja out